Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Yesterday we learned how to compare two fractions. Today we're going to continue with that topic, comparing fractions by doing few more exercises. Let's do the, number, let's do the very first one. Five seventh versus four fifth. Now what we learned yesterday, what we learned yesterday is that when we have to compare our fractions, our job should be to get rid of these denominators as quickly as possible. If you can get rid of the denominators, then all we are left with are the numbers on the, on the numerator on the top, and that of course is a very straightforward business to compare. Question is how do we get rid of the seven from the bottom? It's very simple. Multiply this, multiply this fraction by seven. If you multiply that fraction by 7, the 7 is going to kill that 7. But we can't simply multiply that fraction by 7 because we are asked to compare the two fractions. Whatever we do to this fraction, we must do to that fraction, which means we must multiply that fraction by 7 as well. In other words, this 7 disappears from here and reappears there. It reappears here. How do we get rid of this, top? How do we get rid of this 5 from the bottom here? Same thing. Multiply both fractions by 5. Multiply both fractions by 5. This 5 is going to kill that 5, and this 5 reappears on this side. So what do we end up with? We end up with 5 times 5, 5 times 5, and here we end up with 4 times 7. 5 times 5 is 25, and 4 7s are 28. 28, of course, is more than 25, which means 4 fifth is the bigger fraction. 4 fifth is the bigger fraction. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. But if you want to save if you don't want to do the intermediate step, if you want to save yourself a couple of seconds, this is, this is the more straightforward method. Simply cross multiply here, take the 7 from the bottom, multiply it by the 4, you end up with 7 times 4 here, take the 5 from the bottom and take it to the other side here, you'll end up with 5 times 5. 25 versus 28, 28 is bigger, which means 4 fifth is bigger. But what's going on, what's going on behind the scene in this, in this world is what you see here. In, we're getting rid, of, getting rid of this 5 from the bottom by multiplying both, both of them by 5. We're getting rid of this 7 from the bottom by multiplying both fractions by 7. Let's do one more. Number 2. Four, fifth, 4 15 over 6 versus 70. 415 divided by 6 versus 70. Well, it's very straightforward. Multiply both quantities. Multiply both quantities by 6. Notice what I said. Notice how I phrased it. How I phrased the sentence. I said multiply both quantities by 6. I did not say multiply both fractions by 6 because I didn't want to freak you out. But it is in, it is in fact the two fractions is, is what we are dealing with here because the 70 could be actually looked upon, treated as a fraction. There is a fraction, there is a fraction. Let's multiply both fractions by 6. If you multiply both fractions by 6, this, this 6 kills that 6. Here we end up with 6 times 70, 7, 6 are 42, 7, 6 are 42, and then you stick a 0. 420 versus 415. 420, of course, is bigger, therefore 70 is more than 415 over 6. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Fourteen ninety seven over five versus two hundred and ninety nine. Exact same deal, nothing has changed. We want to get rid of this five from the bottom as quickly as possible. We will do so by multiplying both fractions, this fraction here 299 over 1 and 1497 over 5, where you can multiply both fractions by 5. That's it, we have done so. 5 is going to kill that 5. We have here 1497 versus 299 versus 5. 200, 299 times 5. Well, I don't know what 200... I don't know what 299 times 5 is, but I know that 300 times 5 is going to be even 1500. 300, 300 times 5 is even 1500. But we don't have 300 fives, we only have 299 fives. So take away one five, don't make a fuss. 
just count your 300 fives, which is very easy to do. 300, 300 fives are 1500, because 3 fives are 15, and then 3 fives are 15, and then stick the two zeros. Right there, stick the two zeros, so the 3 fives are 1500, that's very simple. Just take away one five. 1500 minus 5 is going to be 1495, and 1495, of course, is less than 1497. Therefore, 299 was less than 1497 over 5. Let's do one more. Four seven versus five nine. I need to change the marker. I don't know why they keep dying in two days. All right. We need to get rid of the seven from the bottom here. That's very simple. Multiply both fractions by seven. That seven is going to kill that seven. It reappears over here. This 7 ends up over here. How do we get rid of this 9 from the bottom? Same thing. Multiply both fractions by 9. Now that 9 is going to kill that 9, and that 9 reappears on this side over here. That's all. So we end up with 9 times 4, which is 36, and 5 times 7, which is 35. 35, of course, is less than 36. Therefore, 4 7 is the bigger fraction. 4 7 is the big, bigger fraction than 5 9. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.